Hi guys, uh, so I thought I'd answer some questions about sulfur and uh, tarnish silver. Uh, you guys know how rust attacks iron and it's like, a, it's really just a, a protective layer that, that builds up over the iron, but if it stays there long enough, it'll lead all the way through it. This isn't quite like that. It's a similar concept, but it's a very, very thin, thin layer, like angstrom's thin layer uh, that builds up over silver. It happens on gold too, it just takes a lot more to happen on the gold. Um, so what we refer to as antiquing is the process of artificially darkening the silver. And then uh, what happens is the dark stuff stays in all the, the nooks and crannies, like on a Thomas's English muffin. And then when we polish it, the surface gets nice and shiny and the dark stays in the cracks. Um, it's what would happen eventually as the piece ages. It would, uh, it would sort of show highlights. Now, just remember, this layer is so thin that uh, just by sort of abrading on your shirt, your jacket, your, your pants, the stuff does kind of shine up. Also, just by being out in the atmosphere, uh, there is sulfur in the air, depending on where you are, and so it also darkens up. I don't polish my silver jewelry, I only wash it, and, and occasionally, and I wash it vigorously with uh, liquid soap and water, hot water, that's it. I don't even scrub it. The dirt rolls off and, uh, and the shit's clean. And that beautiful natural gray color of the silver is what I usually like. Now when the stuff comes to you, it's gonna be bright and shiny and uh, you get to put the first scratches on there. You get to wear it in and also just remember your body's different from somebody else's body. So you might have less silver in yours. So some cat who's running around with a really well tarnished chain, uh, it, it might just be he has more sulfur in his body and that's the normal level of tarnishing experience. Okay, so now for the fun science demo part. Uh, this shit here is called liver of sulfur. I'm dying to show you and watch the camera shake as Zach eventually gets a whiff of it. It was me! It's gnarly shit. So. Essentially what we're doing is we're boiling this in, in hot water. We're getting up to, to a nice high temperature and on a perfectly smooth, polished, cleaned up piece, uh, we're going we're gonna to submerge it. But I just want to show you how effective this stuff is. Uh, here's a little clip I had handy. This isn't even like highly polished. This was polished, used a little bit, and then it sat for a while. This is one of the early prototypes for these, these large size of the, the new series of Clip 7s. These are fucking gorgeous. Uh, but I wanted you to see the color because this is sort of the natural color of the silver around me and my body and all of that. Uh, watch this. So you already see the, the darkening, right? Now if we left this in here for a while, it would continue to darken. But the other thing that you could notice is, um, well, you won't notice it here, but if this surface were not smooth, let's say the surface had a lot of uh, edges and, and scratches in it, this stuff would actually penetrate really deeply into there and it would get darker and darker and darker. Okay, so this is how liver of sulfur affects the jewelry almost immediately. And some of these colors are gorgeous, but back to me. I'm sorry, it's not very permanent. It doesn't last a long time. Uh, for years we've, we've been asked, like, will you make your shit black? I know, black's cool. So's silver, so's gray. The problem with it is most people don't want to suffer through this sort of slowly abrading and wearing back to polished. Now let me show you what I mean. Uh, sorry, just gotta dry this sucker. Am I yelling? <laughs> Sorry about the noise in here. So, I'm looking for rouge. I don't even need rouge. So, you see where it got really dark, right? Watch how little abrasion it takes just to sort of bring it back. Okay, now in the light, you can see we're, we're away from the dark colors. I don't know if that's as dramatic as everybody was expecting. Uh, another thing, I just dipped it. That's not our actual technique. The temperature is controlled, the time is controlled. 
uh, there's nobody with a video camera or narrating the whole thing. So this is actually the color that we try to achieve before we polish it. These are, were the only thing that, that was immediately handy. Sorry for showing you this fancy, fancy stuff. <laughs> Uh, these are gold and silver, and this is the color that we try to achieve prior to polishing. And then in the end, these will be gorgeous and shiny, but the black will only be sort of stuck in the letters. All right, hang tight for part two. Okay, welcome back. Welcome to part two of Tarnish and Sulfur. Come on in. So it's a little quieter now. I wanted to tell you more about the practical side of it. Um, personally, I like it when the stuff comes and it's shiny. I like to wear it. I like to scratch it, use it, enjoy it. And then over time, it sort of just is the color it's going to be. And then, like I said earlier, I wash it vigorously with soap and water. I do that anytime it feels grimy or dull. It actually makes the piece sort of brighten up. There's just garbage on there. But I wanted you to not worry about it. If your piece gets dark, see what happens. Maybe it'll lighten up after a week on its own. If you really want it shiny, use a dry polishing cloth and buff it. And just keep buffing. It'll make your fingers black. Maybe you wear gloves when you do it. But you can actually remove the tarnish with the dry polishing cloth. Don't use the dips. Any liquid or dip or anti-tarnish whatever, it's going to get in the cracks and it's going to pull that antiquing out of the letters, out of the fine textures and the crevices that give your piece a lot of depth. I mean, do it if you like it. It's yours, but uh, the way I would I would treat it is I would I would only do the polishing cloth. Okay, um, there was one other point. I don't remember the last one. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully that explains it. It's usually sulfur that's darkening the pieces. Enjoy it. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool and it's unique to you. All right, later. Don't you have one of your chains that has? Uh like that beautiful antiquing on the insides, your ball chain? I mean, I do, I just wasn't wearing it today. Damn it. It's all right. I think this is good.